Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word once again. Well today I will be doing a prayer in reference to Psalms 91, a prayer of, uh, we want to pray in repentance, brokenness, contriteness, also renounce some things. You know, how can we as a nation in this individual families experience the healing power of God. And one of the scriptures that, that is very impactful that really gives us important elements on how we can experience the healing power of God is in Second Chronicles uh, 7 14. It says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven then will I heal the land so we want to follow what God has given us in his word that we humble ourselves we begin to really pray not giving in to fear but beginning begin to pray begin to believe God's promises of protection and deliverance because he is our great deliverer so we need to focus our heart focus our eyes upon the lord jesus christ believe in his word and not not uh so much trusting into what may happen to us but trusting in god to do to release his divine protection of our lives and of our families so that is what we're going to be praying about today the scripture also says, uh, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. You know, uh, I was looking up uh, some, some pointers on praying for, for our nation, especially concerning the uh, the impact of COVID-19 upon our nation and other nations. And a lot of the prayers that I was looking over nothing about repentance but you know first of all let's do it right let's go before god in humility let's humble ourselves letting go of all pride and asking god to to search our hearts lamentations chapter 3 starting at verse 4 it says let us test and examine our ways and let us return to the lord so we need to test and examine our ways have there been some some ways in our hearts in our soul and spirit that didn't really come into agreement or alignment with the Lord Jesus Christ so let's examine our ways and let us return to the Lord verse 41 says let us lift up our hearts and our hands and then with them mount up in prayer to God in heaven so um, the scripture lets us know and give us the formula, give us the instructions on what we need to be doing. The scripture all says it says in 1 John 1 19, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and he is just and will forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So Father God, I lift up individually, first of all, our families before you in prayer. Father, we come before you and we're asking you that you will forgive us of our sins, that you will extend your mercy and your grace to us, Lord, where we have sinned against you, where we have not obeyed and honored you or surrendered to you, Father. Lord, we are asking for your forgiveness to send your mercy and grace into our lives. Where there's been pride, Father, we repent and we renounce pride, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I lift up our nation before you. I'm asking, Father, that you forgive our nation where we have gotten off track, where, we, where our nation have lived in rebellion, because your word says rebellion is a sin of witchcraft. So, Lord, I'm asking for your forgiveness, Lord, on the behalf of, of our nation, Father. Forgive us, O oh God, where there has been idolatry in the land. Father, I'm asking for forgiveness, Father. Lord Jesus, forgive us, O oh God, for the sin of murder that has been opened in this land, the bloodshed, the idolatry of guns, uh, 
been uh, idolized in this nation, Father. Deification of guns, Father. Forgive us for the sin of lying, Father, where the, where the spirit of lies have been let loose in this country, Father. Forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh Lord, for the sin of disobedience, persistent disobedience, uh, complacency, Lord, and difference to your ways and your precepts. Forgive us, O oh God. Forgive us for injustice against the poor and in the needy, against the poor and needy, Father. Forgive us, Lord, for injustice against the immigrants, Father. Forgive us, Lord. Extend your mercy and your grace, Father. Lord, surely, Lord, we want to walk with a heart of love. We desire to walk with a heart that's filled with compassion and kindness and gentleness. Lord, we want to truly represent you as Jesus had great compassion upon, the, upon those he encountered, Father. Lord, forgive us for the spirit of greed, Father. Lord, giving ourselves over to the, the spirit of mammon. Oh, God, forgive us, Lord, for this sin of greed. Forgive us, oh, God, for the sin of selfishness, oh, God, where we have been so self-centered and we thought about nobody but ourselves or our own families. Forgive us, O oh God, for self-centeredness, O oh God. Lord, forgive us for the sin of corruption in this nation, Father. Lord, where there, have, there has been so much corruption, Lord, especially when it comes to money. With so much corruption, Lord God, when there, when there is so much greed in the land, Father. Father, forgive us, Lord, for the spirit, for giving in to the spirit of fear, Father. For your word says you have not given us a spirit of fear. But Lord, you've given us power, love, and a sound mind, Father. Lord, thank you, Father. Forgive us, Lord, for not trusting in your word fully relying upon you fully father thank you father god for your healing power and your delivering power father i speak and decree your word over the church today over our nation and other nations lord that are struggling going through various kinds of pestilence and plagues father lord forgive the sin lord god in in kenya lord saudi arabia india these countries that are experiencing the plague of locusts lord forgive those nations father extend your mercy lord use these circumstances to bring them to a saving knowledge of jesus christ bring strong conviction concerning sin righteousness and the judgment to come father god open up the eyes of the people lord god lord i pray for a release of divine intervention and dreams oh god lord that you would just make yourself known to them father even when there is not someone there to minister and to speak into the, their lives lord show yourself strong father lord your word says therefore sin we have this ministry even as we obtain mercy we don't faint but we have renounced the hidden things of shame, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by the manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that we can come boldly before you in prayer. Father, we can come boldly before you seeking your mercy and your grace upon our country, Father. Lord, we ask for your mercy and grace today. Lord, especially concerning COVID-19. Father, we speak to this thing, this thing of, of COVID-19. We curse it at the root in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you remove Move this thing from our midst, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for your mighty hand of deliverance, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you supernaturally intervene on our behalf. You cover us, oh God, and, and, and your blessings and your healing, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, that we are divinely covered, Lord, by you, Father. Your word says in Psalms 91, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty. 
whose power no foe can withstand. Thank you, Father God, that you allow us to dwell in the secret place. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God on him I lean and rely, and in him I confidently trust. Father, we're not going to trust and contacting this disease but lord we're putting our faith we're putting our confidence and our trust in you that we are divinely covered your word declares no weapon that is fashioned against us shall prosper so lord i speak divine release a divine protection through the precious blood of jesus father for then he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Every pestilence, Father, we decree divine protection over us. We thank you, Lord, that we have atonement through Jesus Christ. Lord God, he is our atonement. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you supernaturally intervene, just as you told the Israelites to put the blood on the doorposts. Father, we apply the blood in the in the household father in the homes on the doorposts lord everywhere we go we decree and declare we're covered by the blood of jesus thank you lord your word says then he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings shall you trust and find refuge his truth and his faithfulness our shield and buckler. Father, we thank you that today we embrace your word. Lord, we embrace your counsel today, Father. Lord God, that under you, Lord, we are divinely protected. Your word says you shall not be afraid. So, Lord, we will not be afraid of the terror of night, of the night, nor of the arrow, the evil plots and, and slanders of the wicked that flies by day nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness. We speak to the pestilence and we curse you and command you to die in the name of Jesus. Command you to cease to exist in this nation and nations abroad in the powerful name of Jesus. So we declare the word of God, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction and sudden death that surprise and lay waste at noon noonday a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand but it shall not come near you so i'm prophesying today that COVID 19 that that deadly disease shall not come near you in the powerful name of jesus and father as we surrender to you as we obey the laws of the land and lord and surrender to you we decree today and prophesy lord god that we are divinely covered divinely protected for your word says only a spectator spectator shall you be yourself inaccessible in the secret place of the most high as your witness the reward of the wicked because you have made the lord your refuge in the most high your dwelling place so we see in the word of god that we need to make you our refuge so lord we declare that you are our refuge our dwelling place and lord we declare your word there shall no evil befall us nor any plague or calamity come near our house our home our bodies our families we declare your divine protection father thank you lord that you give your angels a special charge over us to accompany and to defend us to preserve us in all our ways of obedience and service unto you father thank you lord that because we set our love upon you father oh god you deliver us Lord, you will set us up on high, Father. You bring forth deliverance, Lord. I decree that in the powerful name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that because we call upon you, you will answer us. You will answer and hear us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You will be with us in the time of trouble. Lord, you bring forth mighty great deliverance. And Lord, we declare today we will honor you. Lord, we will reverence you, Father. And we forsake the ways 
that is of this world and we surrender our lives to you and we say thank you lord for your great love and your protection upon our lives today in jesus precious name amen